So, hello guys. <clears throat> In this uh, tutorial, we're going to do, we're going to create a machine, uh, a Windows server on uh, Azure, Microsoft Azure. And um, we, we're going to access uh, through remote access and I'm going to show you how, how to do it, all the process. So please guys, um, like the video and subscribe because subscribe is very important for, for you to be able to, to support my work and uh, I will be very appreciated. So let's start uh, when you enter your Microsoft Azure, you go to virtual machines. On virtual machines, we're gonna, gonna do create create a new virtual machine okay. now uh, we're gonna tell who who is the subscription we're gonna use I'm gonna use this one and um, this is the the resource group do you want to insert this machine on? Because this uh, Azure doesn't have nothing, you're gonna create a new one. You can um, change the name if you want, or you can leave like that and they will give a, a name. So I'm gonna do, this will gonna be uh, a domain controller. I will I will just leave like this and um, this is important the the region when you want to have uh, the same machines on the changing service and uh, changing um, communications it's better to to be on the same region so for now I'm gonna leave this way this doesn't matter. Here we have to change to what we want. We want a data center. It can be a Windows Server 2016 data center. It's okay. It's a good image. If you want to see all the image you have here, I will change the the screen. There you go. To you all like Windows uh, 10 uh, you have a Windows server all the Windows servers are inside here 7 and therefore you understand so I'm gonna come back where you were this is okay this is okay here the machine you can change you can do filters Filters are good, for example, if I want to filter by ham, I can put like 4 gigas and we'll give all the 4 gigas machines that uh, they have available. This is a lab, so it doesn't need much. Uh, I'm going to do the cheapest one. This is okay. Okay, but we have more here. No, this is, this is uh, good enough. I will select this one. And this is the, the administrator for enter the machine. This is a local one. After you do the domain controller, it will apply the, the domain controller administrator, but this will be the local one. I'll just put my name. After you create a domain controller, this will not be able to log in with this anymore. So, gee. There you go. Okay, now you, you are allowing the parts. I will show you later where this go. Gonna do this configuration. 
and when you can change so this doesn't matter yep I confirm and oh this is a um, Okay, let me put uh, Canon full, full. Not liking the, okay, doesn't matter. <clears throat> now you can change disks. I will not change nothing of this, but you can, of course, changing. If you need to change something here, maybe I do a tutorial later about this this is network it doesn't matter as well i will leave it like this you can change everything afterwards and so on so on review and create there we go now we're gonna do a resume the validation pass is okay let's create the machine i'm gonna stop the video now because it gonna take a little bit to to create the machine and I will come back to you guys later okay so we have our machine created we can go to home let's go to all resource to see what was created it created so the the machine it's here domain controller this is the IP of a public IP address for this machine for you to be able to access to the machine this is security group this is the network adapter for this machine the disks and the VNet all of this was created when you create the machine and if you need to create more machine on the Azure and you need to be able to communicate between machines of course you need to insert the new machines on the same network uh, security group okay I so now we're gonna select the machine the configuration of uh, remote access was done here now they, they do this automatic, automatically. Before you had to come here to to add the um, the access. Let me see. Let me see if we are able to connect already. Okay, so you got there. Here you have to, to change this because this is from my Windows computer. You can put like this, it's a local domain and Joao, was the user that I define or you can just simply put you know he will understand that is a local access local admin so there you go it's asking now for permissions you give yes and we are in on a new server <clears throat> that later gonna be um, active active directory a uh, domain controller server so there you go guys it's working and Please uh, don't forget to, to subscribe the channel. It's a very big support that uh, it's uh, really appreciated. And if you have any questions or any comments, just leave it in the comments, send me an email or send me a message. I will respond. And um, 
uh, nice to, to help you guys. See you later.